Hi, I'm Rainer. I am back in my train room again. It's been a long time since I've recorded a video in here. If you want to see what I've been up to the last few months, uh, have a look at my previous video. But anyway, I'm back here. I uh, had to do a lot of cleaning up and organizing. Um, the place was kind of a mess because I'd been digging underneath the shelves for things that I needed for our extended camping trip. and. Uh, just had to get everything back in order and try to put things away and find the top of my desk and things like that. So uh, got home a few days ago and uh, so I've been doing some cleanup and organizing and then in doing so I realized I needed to find a place to put more things. And so you've probably seen I've recorded videos from the same spot before and uh, over here this is the last couple of videos I recorded in here was the construction of this building which is now complete including these towers on the side here. Um, but what I normally do is I have a workbench here that I slide out. I use this chair that I can work right here. And uh, over here is my helix. And this area ends up just being kind of a dumping zone for all kinds of stuff. And I'll show you a video of what it looked like when I got home. But what I've decided is that I need to do two things. Cover up the front of this helix to make it look a little bit better. To kind of hide the train going round and round. And I need to, find, need to find a place for all of my, my paints and my glue. And this is some of the paint I have here. There's piles more in various bins all over the place. So I decided to try to do what I... See what I can do to um, make some storage in here. So I went out in the... Uh, um, garage and looked for what I had for plywood and I had some half inch plywood um, sitting there and I also had some thinner I guess about 3 16 paneling uh, that I had been using in my camping trailer and I had some leftover pieces so um, I thought I could see what I could do and this is what I came up with was this thing here and the idea is going to be that it will the idea is that it will sit right about here and then I'm going to cover this side up with paneling and put a fascia on the front over here. So I made this out of, like I said, half inch plywood. I just took a sheet of plywood. The I cut a piece that was going to be the right height for here and then ran it through the table saw. Um, two kind of blade widths of the table saw put grooves across it. From that I cut the side panels, glued it stapled it together with the air stapler and glued everything in and then slid in these 3 16 pieces of paneling into the grooves that I had cut with the table saw before and then cut little edge pieces um, to keep the cans and bottles in place. So the idea is I have some of these little spray cans. This is actually some car paint but it's a small spray can can go in there. I've got some of these testers dull coat cans old can of diosol. Um, next shelf I've got a number of bottles of scale coat paint. Again set it up so those will fit in here. And then the next shelves are a little bit closer together to take the typical Floquil and Polyscale and whatever paints I have. Here's some uh, True Line and uh, things like that. So that's the idea. Um, I will get this attached in here. I'm going to put, be putting some more uh, masonite this stuff here. I've got some pieces cut. I've got some masonite fascia to put in here to cover up the front of this and the same thing along there. And then I'm going to be putting some paneling or I haven't figured out yet what but something across here to cover this in to just enclose it and then I'm going to paint it all. So now I'm going to get to attaching all of this. I'm not going to record all of that. I can see what else I can do for covering up this paneling and everything and then I'll get back to you. Okay so this is what I've ended up with. Put some more fascia around the bottom here. Um, finished mounting this shelf in place and uh, built a little framework behind here and put a piece of plywood on here to cover that up so it kind of hides the um, helix in behind here because you've got the helix the bottom part that leads to my lower staging and then the helix over there that leads up to my upper deck 
it actually goes around this way, comes out at the top. If you look at my older, older videos, you can see that. Anyway, um, I think I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, I had picked this uh, ACR logo up on eBay. Thought this was a good little place to put it. The idea is that when I'm working here, what I normally do, as I mentioned earlier, is I sit in this chair, I pull this workbench out. This is where I build my models. All my paints, my glue, everything else is all right here. It means that all these paint cans aren't sitting on the shelf over there and some of them over there. I found a place for them now and that frees up some shelf space that I needed for organizing some other things here. So that's kind of it for this video. This is my little cleanup project, organizing here, building a little rack for the paints and glue and stuff like that. And found a place to put my logo up at the same time. So tell me what you think. I've got a lot more organizing to do in the room here, but at least it's a start I'm trying to kind of finish this end up, make it look a little bit nicer. Next thing, of course, that I need to do is clean up this mess and start working on my some of my more more of my buildings for the paper mill and some of the buildings that are going to be in my town so I can figure out how all that works. I have, I don't know if you can see them in the video, but down there there's a whole pile of boxes. I probably have 35 pieces of rolling stock, uh, locomotives, train cars, things like that, that need to be built or painted or whatever. They're, they're kits that I've picked up at uh, either estate sales or at train shows. And I also up at the top shelf here have probably close to 30 structure kits, building kits of every size from little houses to bigger industrial buildings that all need to be built. So every one of those is uh, theoretically going to be at least one video or more. So I've got a lot of things to do here. So I kind of want to get this end organized so I have some place to do all of that building. Anyway. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.